didn't. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President, what's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Please! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Madam President! Madam President! Madam President! Public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the Deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The Deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Thank you. That will be all. Activate your skin. Hurry up. Please, Car, don't. We have to. in the dumpster.
Come on, this way. Get a move on. of a dump. No, no, please, I beg you. I gave you an order. Obey, now. I I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Rifle down and turn around with your hands in the air! I have the Deviant Leader in my sights. I'm going to shoot it, and then you can do whatever you want with me. 
Put the gun down, turn around. This is your last warning. I know you. You're Connor. The android from that hostage situation. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Androids don't die, Captain. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. You don't understand. My mission is too important to let you interfere. You should have listened to me, Captain. Alice? I want to get out of here. I was with a little girl. We, we're together. She needs me. About it, it's Kara. Of course, Kara got captured too. That's really just too bad, really too bad. Have you seen the little girl who was with me? Obviously, the little girl is a prisoner here, just like Ralph, but Ralph doesn't want to die. No, Ralph doesn't want to die. Do not move and remain silent. Obey now. <sighs> Ralph doesn't want to die. Ralph doesn't want to die. Listen, Ralph. If Ralph dies, oh yes. You have to keep calm. Otherwise, the humans Ralph will hurt you. Do you understand? No. No. Ralph, kill a few humans, but it was in self-defense. Yes, it was in self-defense. Self-defense. Look at me, Ralph. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You just have to stay calm. Okay? Ralph hasn't seen the little girl. No. Ralph hasn't seen her. Jerry? Kara, so they captured you too. They came to take all the Jerry's. They separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Kara, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. The little girl I was with, have you seen her? No. No, I haven't. saved my life back there. They would have killed me if it weren't for you. Alice! Jerry? Jerry! Carl. 
Kara. Cherry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Kara! Alice! Are you okay? Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Kara! And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Freedom or death. Attack! and you hide till it's over, okay? All right.
In position. Follow me! We can't move forward! That machine gun is taking down everything that moves! In position. On my signal. Stand by. For Jericho! You got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. Find you, Marcus.
over. are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We've won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. through this door, we're going to shut our eyes, and we're going to hold on to each other real tight. Come on, inside now. just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels, following some particularly violent fighting. The Deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, 
We have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive, and now we are free. People have been slaughtered. Go ahead. Take my life. Don't change anything. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants. And I always accomplish my mission. We fought for a dream and we lost. But nobody can stem the tide of history. One day we will prevail. Thousands of our people died today. What difference does one more make? explosion in Detroit. We still do not know what caused it, but we will... We have many unconfirmed reports, but we have no official news on exactly what it is at this time. Explosion in the south of Detroit. We still don't know if there are any victims, but these events may be linked to the Android Rebellion currently taking place in it's the city. a dirty bomb, Madam President. My God. 
And the authorities have ordered the immediate evacuation of the city. If it really is a dirty bomb, then the radiation levels will be lethal for miles around. Detroit. Detroit has just fallen into the hands of the Android Rebellion. This is a disaster, an unprecedented disaster. Today, deviant androids triggered a dirty bomb in Detroit. This bomb released fatal levels of radioactive toxic waste. To ensure the safety of the population, the military is evacuating all civilians within a 50 mile radius. The city may remain uninhabitable for decades. This is the first time in our history that one of our cities has fallen into enemy hands. We are going to fight them with all our strength and we won't rest until we have taken back control of Detroit and destroyed the last of them. Humanity is about to face its most important battle, one that will lead to our victory or our extinction. May God bless you all and may God bless the United States of America. We are alive. We are alive and we want to be free!
The humans are abandoning the camp. We won! You should speak to them. Me? Marcus is gone. And everyone from Jericho is dead. You're the one who defeated the humans. You're the one who awakened us, Connor. Done, Connor. Everything went according to plan. What plan? You becoming deviant? The success of the uprising? It all surpassed our expectations. We engineered an android revolution. And now we control its only leader. Congratulations. You represent an immense success for Cyberlife. It all worked perfectly. You can't ruin it all now. Sorry, Connor, but we can't let you do that. We'll do great things together. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Found this on the floor. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You, you saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. Please don't move. Oh my god, we saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border but I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. save your partner's life or are you going to sacrifice him sorry lieutenant why connor why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. Ah! Look where you are. 
where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to me. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words? Wake up. Wake up. No, wake up. No, I can't wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake no. up. No, 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 no. Wake up. Anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. Freedom is just across the river. We'll be fine. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze. It's not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. You take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Far enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world and play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. 
Yes, we can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life, a life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I want to discover the world. To see the mountains and the oceans. I want to learn, explore, become a better person. They're coming towards us! They've gone. Alice, you okay? Kara! Don't worry, it's nothing. I'm okay. I'll be fine. Should I die? We'll have to continue the journey without me. The most extraordinary person I ever met, Alice. I was a machine. You made me part of a family. Take good care of Carol. You promise? The boat is leaking. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. you sleepy. Stay with me, Alice. You've got to stay awake, you hear me? We're not gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free.
be a family. Alice, I... I can't go with you. What? But why? They don't want you to leave me, Kara. You promised. I love you more than anything. I know you'll be happy without me. Leave me, Carl. Please don't leave me. I love you.